Let's look at how to read text files in Python. So first of all, I'm going to create a script. So read file py. And then I'm going to go ahead and edit it with my editor. All right. So I'm going to get a file name from the command line and then I'm going to read that file in. So I'm going to import sys and then um, I'm not going to do any error checking because that's not really important for what I'm doing right now. But what I want to do is read the file in. So I'm going to tell you which file I'm reading in. So the file name is going to be sys.argv one. Now, if there is no RV one, this will just crash and we're okay with that for now. So then I'm going to get a file handle, some way to address the file. So my file handle is going to be called FH and I'm going to do an open on the file. So file name, and I'm going to open it as a read only file. Now, you want to make sure that whenever you're opening a file, you also close the file later. So do FH close. And between these, I'm going to now process the file. So I'm going to do a, a while loop. Now, sometimes they say never do a while true loop. We're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So while, and we'll do a true. And then we're going to just infinite loop and we'll do a line equals for my file handle read line. And then we'll do if not line break. So that is my reading in and this is my case to break out. So you want to make sure you have some way out of this loop. At this point, you want to figure out what are you going to do to clean up that line. So you want to clean the line. And then you want to process the line. All right, so what do you do to clean the line? Well, the line comes in and it has new lines and all kinds of things all in it. It's all the line. So it goes from everything in one line until you hit the new line character or some other terminating character and then it's done and at some point when you get just an empty line you will get this line not line and it'll break out so i could do something like line equals line replace and you can take all your new line characters and replace them with nothing that removes them you can also do if you're dealing with like Macs or other kinds of uh, devices that have other things, you could replace any return characters with nothing, but that won't happen on a very often, so it's not a big issue usually. Um, you can also do other things. Um, you can, if you were reading in some kind of a file and you wanted to have comments or other things in there, maybe you could say something like if line zero equals a single quote then you could do a continue so maybe that would just go to the next line and you could skip over comments um, you can also do something um, like where maybe you don't want any white space in the front or if there's white space in the line that's all it is a blank line you can do um, something to check for white space um, but at this point we just want to go ahead and process the line so what are we going to do? We don't really need to do much here. We just want to keep track of maybe the size of the file. So size equals zero. And um, maybe we'll just do a size plus equals. And we will just add up the length of the line. And then at the end, we'll just print out our size. Print um size equals percent d and we will print out our size 
Now, we've already done some stuff to remove characters, like the new line is gone, return characters are gone, we've skipped out over any common type things. Well, actually, this would have this white space in the front. But you can see what, what happens here. So now we're going to go ahead and save this, and then we will go ahead and create a text file. So new text file, and we'll do textfile.txt. And I will go ahead and open that one. And I will say, this is some text. It is two lines long. All right, save that. And go ahead and close that, shrink that. And I jump down to my command prompt and I do a dir I can see there are two files here I can now run my read file and if I do it without any arguments it will just crash and if I do pass an argument text file you can see it prints out the number 38 and the reason it prints out 38 instead of something like 40 is because I've removed some things if I would go back into my program and I'd say, okay, well, I actually want to calculate my size somewhere else. I could cut that, go up here, and maybe paste this up here before I clean the lines. Save that, try running it again. And you can see that now it's longer. Now, this 40 probably contains a, a zero terminating line at the uh, terminating character at the end of it. Um, so that's probably what that is. Um, either way, you can get the idea that we're just adding up this line and adding up all the contents. If we wanted to, we could also do things like look at the number of characters or other things, but we can process this and we're processing one line at a time. And this could be important when you want to read files into lists and then process lists. So. This is how you read a file in.